Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on Skills Unit 5, Lesson 13. And by the end of this lesson today, you should be able to say short vowel sounds, say letter sounds, read the tricky words, and point and read from left to right. We're going to start today off by reviewing our short vowel sounds. What short vowel sound is this? That's right, I. And to remember the if sound, we can place our finger below our lips like this and say it. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? It, it, it. Perfect. And what about this sound? That's right, eh. And for this one, we can pretend not to hear to help us remember the eh sound. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Excellent. And what about this short vowel? You're right, eh. And to remember the eh sound, we can pretend to cry. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good. And what about this vowel sound? You're right, uh. And to remember the uh sound, we raise our arms above our head. Are you ready? Let's do that three times. Are you ready? Uh, uh, uh. Good. One more. This short vowel is, you got it, ah. And to remember the ah sound, we can open our mouth, take our pointer finger, and circle around our open mouth. Let's do that three times. Are you ready? Ah, ah, ah. Perfect. All right, now we're going to review all of the sounds that we've learned so far this year. Let's say them together. Mm, ah. D, a, k, g, e, n, h, s, f, v, z, p, e, b, o, r, a. W, J, Y, X, K. Great job with all those sounds. Now it's time to chain. Let's blend the sounds and read this word. O, A, G, log. So if this says log, and we change the a ah to an uh, the new word would be, that's right, lug. And if we change the o to b, our new word would be, that's right, bug. And if we change the b to er, our new word would be, that's right, rug. And if we change the a uh to eh, our new word would be, good, rag. And if we change the er to w, our new word would be, you got it, wag. And if we change the a eh to i, our new word would be, wig, that's right. And if we change the w to b, our new word would be, that's right, big. Great job chaining, boys and girls. Now it's time to review our tricky words. We do lots of reviewing because it helps us remember everything. So let's say these tricky words together. One, two, three, the, a, blue, yellow, Look, excellent job with those tricky words. All right, boys and girls, we are going to start reading stories together. This is so exciting because reading makes me so happy. It puts me in my happy place. So we're going to read a story today. This story is called Ox 
and man. Now, right here, this part of the book is called the front cover. Can you say front cover? Good, front cover. It's, it's the very first thing you see on a book. Before you open it up, you see right on top, the front cover. Now, down there at the bottom, you see that purple arrow down there? The purple arrow is pointing to the title. Can you say title? Good, title. And the title of the story is Ox and Man. Ox and Man. Those words are the title of this book. Now my purple arrow moved all the way up there. It's pointing to the ox. Do you know what an ox is? What's an ox? Yes, an ox is similar to a cow, so it's kind of like a cow. It is used to do different kinds of work, like pulling a wagon or a cart, or it's used for plowing fields on a farm. So that's what an ox is and what an ox is used for. So now we're going to get into the story. We're actually going to read it two times. So the first time I'm going to read it to you and then we're going to review some things about, you know, different things in the story and then we'll read it together, okay? So right now I want you just to listen to the story as I read it to you. Ox ran and ran. Jin ran at him. But Ox ran on. Kim had him. But Ox ran on. Min fed Ox and led him and sat on him. And that's the end of the story. It's such a good story. I love a good story. Now, we're going to read it again. This time I want you to try to read it with me. But we're going to go over a few things before we start reading, okay? So as you see here on the screen, there's a long line here with an arrow. It's an arrow. This is a sentence. So these words here make up a sentence. A sentence starts with an uppercase letter. You see how that with an uppercase letter. And at the end, it ends in some kind of punctuation. And in this story, it ends in a period. Okay, so you're going to see the purple arrow under each word. So I want you to read it with me. And we read from left to right. So we're going to start here at the purple air and we're going to read together. Are you ready? Ox ran and ran. Good job reading. Let's keep going. Jin ran at him. <gasps> we see something new there. That is called a comma. When we see a comma in a story, we take a short pause when reading. It's like a teeny tiny little break. So when we see a comma, we take a short pause and then we get back into reading. Let's keep going. But Ox ran on. Good. Kim had him. There's that comma, so short pause. But Ox ran on. Men fed ox and led him and sat on him. We just read this whole story. I'm so amazed. Round of applause. I'm super proud. So now I'm going to ask you a question about the story. 
What did ox like to do? Think back in the story. What did the ox like to do? And if you don't remember, it's okay. You can rewind or go back in the video and reread the story. It's okay to go back in the story to check for your answers. So what did ox like to do? That's right. Ox likes to run. That ox liked to run and run and run and run. Nice job. Now I want you to head over to Google Forms and fill it out. Skills, Unit 5, Lesson 13. Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you.